Rich on Rick's Smile the Morning Show. Hey, this segment is being brought to you by BET. That's right, tonight at 8, 7 Central on BET brings you twice the fun with a double premiere. That's right, uh, two all new episodes of Tyler Perry's House of Pain, followed by back to back episodes of new comedy series Tyler Perry's Assisted Living. I got to watch that, man. I will be watching that one. All right, uh, make sure you check that out. Eva, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. I'm Eva Marcel here with a quick look at your front page news. So police body cam video was released yesterday by the family of a 41-year-old black man who died of suffocation in Rochester, New York, after police put a hood over his head while he was handcuffed and pressed his face on the pavement for two minutes. Daniel Prude died seven days later when he was taken off life support. A medical examiner ruled his death a homicide. The incident happened back in March after Prude was found running naked in the streets. Prude's brother called the police over concern about his mental health. Oh, in other news, unlike President Trump, mm. Joe Biden is going to Kenosha, Wisconsin today to meet with the family of jo Jacob Blake. Biden says he plans to have a community discussion that he said would include business figures, civic leaders and law enforcement officials. Meanwhile, President Trump was in North Carolina yesterday telling people that they should vote twice, Ricky, once by mail and again in person Man, in I saw November. That food. Uh, speaking of the November election, public health experts are concerned that the rush to approve a coronavirus vaccine in the U.S. is being done for political reasons. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention sent a letter to state governors last week telling them to be ready to distribute the, a coronavirus vaccine by November 1st, just two days before the presidential election. Experts say that does not allow enough time for the final phase of testing to conclude. All right, that was a quick look at your headline news. For more, log on to the RickySmileyMorningShow.com. Rock Teasy, let's take a look at sports. Already, man, NBA playoffs, we're going to kick it off. The Houston Rockets hang on to eliminate the Oklahoma City Thunder last night. They win game seven. They advance to the second round. They will be playing the Lakers, man. Shout out to CP3 with Oklahoma City, his post-game interview. You know, he was a little bit emotional, but he was rocking that spell house uh, attire. You know, uh, representing our HBCUs. The Miami Heat. What's up, man? They take a two-game to zero lead over Milwaukee. Milwaukee's one of the teams expected to represent the East in the championship, man. So uh, Miami Heat, Jimmy Butler, got them boys out there balling. Former LSU running back was cut by Jacksonville Jaguars on Monday. I'm talking about Leonard for, uh, Fournette. He just signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So now your boy is joining Tom Brady over there, Rick Dawson. Uh -oh. so they loading up. Uh -oh. They loading up. Georgia Bulldog quarterback Jamie Newman, one of the top-ranked quarterbacks in the country, is opting out of the season of college football due to COVID-19, of course. He will now prepare for the 2021 NFL Draft. Expect many other top prospects to do the same. Wide receiver Jamar Chase from LSU, I said the other day, he's doing the same thing, man. All these top prospects, because of the uncertainty of the season and COVID-19, I promise I you, they're going to be, be studying the coronavirus when they're in a NFL contract. They're going to be out there with no mask on. <laughs> you know it. You already know it. Often in their helmet and everything. <laughs> yes, sir. They said, forget this. We're gonna just... <laughs> I'm going to get this check. <laughs> there it is, man. Gary with the T. What you got there, Pippin? All right, y'all, baby. Everybody's still talking about Monica and Brandy, honey. The girl is mine. That um, verse that happened the other day. But, baby, let me tell y'all what people are saying. they saying, honey, we love Miss Monica and things. But, child, why Miss Monica was wearing fake Fendi? Now, they're saying, honey, that, honey, the <laughs> views people was calling oh, all over the God. country, baby. They was calling Atlanta, baby. All the Fendi stores said, girl, we need that Monica outfit. And, baby, the girls at Miss Fendi said, girl, we don't have that. Now, they say, one, they say one fan question, why a celebrity like Monica would ever wear fake Fendi? They say not saying that it was real or fake, but why would someone like Monica wear fake Fendi on something that would have such a lot of views? Now, they're saying that the decision is looking sus. Now, they're also saying that then, honey, oh, oh, what was the black piece y'all sticking out on the outfit for another thing? Then another fan question, who did who the pointed all that out? Evil. Oh, my now, God. Now, yeah, but let me tell you, they say, honey. I'm about to get Gary together real quick. Now, now, they say, honey. They say, honey, I wonder if it made, honey, by that girl that made Reginae Dior Bustier, honey. They said, but everybody cannot beat that for wow. Dan, honey. Now they say, honey, it, look, it, was, they say it was just looking fake. They say, honey, these girls then called all over the place. And they, but they need to, 
Monica should have took a page from Brad damn book here. Brad makes sure she keep the tags on her stuff, honey, that you know that is real, honey. <laughs> so, baby, she, they, they should take a, Brad, they should take, she should take a page from your book, baby. Listen, I'm like, baby, Miss Brad keeps them. Not, okay, Miss Brad keeps it on. Baby, Miss Brad okay, keeps it on, honey. Okay, let me just defend Monica and say, like Dapper Dan, who you gave, he's who I believe she was paying homage to, I believe that was definitely Fendi Fabric, and she has an amazing designer that made her an outfit. So, no, you can't Absolutely. go find that boost. The A, but to say it's fake Fendi is to say that Dapper Dan was making fake Gucci. He wasn't. He was repurposing fabric and making an outfit out of it. So yeah, that's what no, she did. They said everybody cannot be Dapper Dan. So they, I know, they, they but that's what bad about it. Well, well, who anyway, is Dapper Dan? It sounds like a little white dude that be on the ship. Uh -uh. Uh, he's Dapper a black Dan guy. is Harlem's finest, honey. Yeah. He oh. is over uh, Gucci when it comes to now. When oh, it comes really? to all things fashion, but yeah. back in the day, Rick, he was a dude in Harlem that will take any Gucci piece, dismantle it, and make our fashion. So you uh -huh. would see Little Kim, and you know what I mean? Yeah, but Bust the can, rhymes, rock the I'm thinking about Lieutenant Dan on the, little, on the little boat out there <laughs> catching shrimp. I'm like, what is that about? <laughs> okay. Well, the Kahlua today, y'all, is one of my favorite colors. My Kahlua today, y'all, is Buxton Blue. On the high end, you say Buxton Blue, and on the low end, you say beautiful grayish blue. That's your Kahlua for today. Brad, what's coming up next at the high spot? Coming up next in the hot spot, she said, please keep praying for me and my son. I'm going to tell you who said it. Coming up next, it's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.